Hello guys, I'm no TG and welcome back to another video. Before this video starts, I appreciate if you like this video. It really helps me to grow and stuff and for more people to see this video. And if this helps you, uh, I'd like if you subscribe. You don't have to, but if you if you want to, I'd appreciate it. And it's free and, you know, you can always unsubscribe if you don't like me or something. So yeah, I hope this video helps you and enjoy it. Peace. So to start this off, if you're trying like to learn how to play on mobile and this is like your first time, I suggest playing as a country in Africa because Africa there's usually barely anybody there besides Egypt, South Africa, and maybe Nigeria or some random some random country that somebody's just playing as to troll or whatever. But yeah, I probably play as like one of those three countries. Egypt probably not because you can get invaded by Turkey and stuff. And if you're a noob, you're probably gonna get destroyed. But anyway, yeah. So I decided to play as Mozambique because why not? Because I'm actually not that bad at mobile. First, most and most absolutely most important thing to get down on mobile is the selection mode. So the first, so the first, it says map movement mode when you have nothing on it, and that's where you can just move around the map easily without having a, any problems with that, like tapping and stuff. The next um, one is unit selection. When you tap on it, it'll usually show unit selection, and uh, that's for all your units. So if you want to use unit selection, you tap the map movement mode, then you select the units, you scroll over the units or tap over whatever you want to call it, and you can move the units wherever you want to move it. The next one is city selection. City selection is where you can um, where you select all the cities if you want to make troops or buildings or if you just want to upgrade your cities and develop them. These three things are probably the most important things that you're probably going to learn on mobile. So I suggest getting them down first and learning them. So the first thing that you want to do is buy gold and copper. Usually I buy from copper from Zambia and gold from Zimbabwe. But I was attacking those countries so I didn't. I bought it from somewhere else. But you want to buy 7 gold and 7 copper to help your factories. And then also build three electronics factories, mainly close to your capital because that's where you're going to be defending mostly as a small African country. I would also suggest buying your own motor and uh, buying motor and steel parts since you're a small country. But in this clip, I actually didn't because I was actually doing pretty well. When you're attacking you're in Africa, there's a ton of resources, so it's easy, really easy to get resources so you can make your own factory. So in the early game, I suggest buying steel motor factories, but then canceling them and making your own. So for research, you probably want to start for infantry at first and make sure that you get your infantry up like at least like to anti-tank. And then for you want to get your econ economic research up to at least on um, tax collection, like three at least, so you can get a good economy. And I probably wouldn't worry about tank research until you actually get tanks later in the game. In this club, you can see that South Africa tried to ally me, which means he's probably scared of me and he's probably a noob who doesn't know what he's doing. And since South Africa has a lot of resources that would really help me make my own motor and steel factories and whatnot, I decided, hey, let's go for it, and I decided to attack him. Now, since South Africa is way bigger than me, and also South Africa's capital was way farther away, and my troops were probably attrition myself before they got there, I decided to play defensive for a little bit and then do my counterattack because he looked like he would be the type of person to rush his troops or leave his troops unentrenched or whatever. So I decided to do that. South Africa sent artillery towards me, and I went out to get it. I think he had like 200 artillery. I stopped it with my infantry, and then when I got a little worried because he started sending, he had like 300k and only had like what 100k. But for some reason, for some weird reason, this man decided to go back and not not pursue my troops. He would have destroyed them. He absolutely would have destroyed them. No idea why he went back, but I got lucky right there. When you see people doing this, just this, just so you know that they obviously don't know what they're doing. They obviously don't know anything about entrenchment or the fact that they should have beaten me to the ground right there so now that i saw this i was like you know what i'm gonna start making my counter attack the next thing you want to do is make uh make sure you have a lot of electronics to sell make sure you sell them to like if usa was ai so i sold them like 40 electronics i think and also i also bought some motor parts and steel from the united states this was going to help me get um the tank so i could actually go after him for some weird reason, South Africa is telling me I'm going to pay, even though this man legit sent me a, like a white piece request like five seconds ago. So like, all right, let's go. 
And now that I have tanks, and also India sent me some manpower. Thank you, India. Sent me 200k manpower. I used some of it to make at least like 1k tanks so I could go after him. He sent his artillery towards me, and since um, I didn't want to lose my stuff, I went after him. So now that he, I took some of his artillery out, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any artillery left. So since I took it out, I decided to take all the cities around it too. So now I know because he's an idiot dumb dumb, he's going to come after me because he doesn't like to see any of his land being taken away. Like I said, this man is coming out towards me with 230k, I think, troops. So I'm in trench, so this is an easy dub for me. Now this is gonna, he said he's making artillery for some reason, even though obviously he's the one who needs infantry. So now all his troops are gone. I'm gonna take out the rest of his artillery, and also I'm gonna um, get all the rest of those square cities right there. Now it's gonna be free money. He's probably gonna leave the game and raid quit because I took out all of his stuff, and this is gonna be free money. As I said, this man dipped away, so now I'm just gonna uh, let you guys watch me take the rest of his lands. As you can see, I took most. I took most of the southern part of Africa. Not all of it, but if you feel like it after the, after you've done something like this, you can. If you want to keep getting better, you can probably keep expanding and keep it going. It'll help you get your mobile skills up pretty well. And I didn't feel like taking all of South Africa, or all of the rest of Africa, because I was tired. But yeah, I suggest uh, doing this to help get your mobile skills up. And if this video helped you, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. And thanks for watching. Peace.